Hi Eric, it's Dirk Vanderzee. I'm with Premier Aircraft Sales based out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We're on a hot ramp in Dallas, Texas, Addison Airport, about halfway through the North American DA-50 RG pilot demonstration tour. We've been having a great time. We're going to talk about the DA-50 RG today in a short walk around. Most of the excitement about this aircraft starts at the front of the airplane. This is the new Continental CD-300 turbocharged, intercooled, liquid-cooled diesel engine. Runs on Jet A, is FADEC powered, so it makes for a very easy pilot experience. You're looking at the MT propeller, that's a composite prop, titanium leading edge, filters and intercoolers inside the cowling, beefy nose gear, steerable, Cow flaps uh, on this particular installation. Uh, the uh, engine is liquid cooled, been on ground ops and uh, high angle of attack. Always good to get a little more airflow over the power plant. Very dry engine. Runs on ultra diesel oil. And I think we've added maybe half a liter in the last uh, 30 or 40 hours of flying. Extremely dry engine. Going to the other side. So we'll continue the walk around. A good shot here of the trailing link landing gear. Makes for a very smooth landing. All of us look a little better with the trailing link gear landing. Large gear makes for all airport landings on grass. Very doable. Again, mostly carbon fiber construction on the DA-50RG. Carbon fiber is the strongest and the lightest material you can make anything out of. Good shot here of the uh, TKS anti-ice system. This is approved for flight into known icing. It works very, very well. It's on the tail, spray bar for the windshield, and also for the propeller. a hot prop on this particular installation for the DA-50RG. Really nice uh, high aspect ratio wing. The, uh, the Diamond uh, Company started building sailplanes, the H-36 and the Super Demona. You can see a lot of that DNA in, the, uh, in just the look and the aerodynamics of the aircraft. Out here on the outer panel of the uh, right wing are some Vortex generators. They do a great job of keeping the airflow attached to the top of the wing surface. Makes for a very controllable aircraft in high alpha conditions and as you approach the stall. All the controls are push-pull control rods for the ailerons and elevator, so it gives a very precise feel through the control stick. I'm going to lower the flaps so you can see the double slotted flap on the DA-50RG. I don't know about you, Eric, but I just consider this an engineering work of art. Very efficient dual slot design. Gives you a nice low stall speed of 58 knots. It's two positions, take off and approach. And this is the full flaps down landing configuration. While we're on this side of the aircraft, emergency exit on the rear right side. Handles inside and out. Nice little e ingress uh, handle. The icing fluid port, TKS fluid. A 
oxygen fill port back here, Kevlar wrap bottle, plenty for five folks. It's a little burst disc for the bottle. Very large empennage. Same fuselage as the DA62, with the exception that it does not have the third row seating. Pitch control is very uh, positive. The aircraft, uh, as you know, is a control stick rather than a wheel. And that's just a natural way to fly. It doesn't take very long to transition to, and you'll really prefer it after just a few flights. Trim tab on the elevator and also on the rudder. Again, mostly carbon fiber construction. Everything is just fit and finish is superb on diamonds. And this serial number seven is certainly no exception. Here's the uh, left rear cabin door. There's three doors on this aircraft. This is for your baggage and rear, or rather middle row seat, passenger ingress and egress. Seating for five people. Easy to access the baggage area. And really nice attachments, fittings, hardware, and function of the door. Just like that. Pretty much the same thing as the right side over here on the left. We'll talk about the uh, fuel tanks. 50 gallon capacity of Jet A. The fuel's carried between twin spars along the axis, so there's really no CG chains as you fly off fuel in the DA-50RG. It's in metal fuel tanks with flex interconnects between the tanks, not unlike an airliner installation. The wings, back to the uh, sailplane reference, give quite a bit of flex and turbulence. So that really creates a very smooth ride for the pilot and occupants of this aircraft. Jet A is a very stable fuel, a very safe fuel, and in some places a little less expensive than 100 low -end. How about we step inside the cockpit and do a quick cockpit brief. The big story inside the uh, cabin and the cockpit is of course built around the FADEX system. This is a single power lever, zero to 100 percent. It's unique in that it has the rudder trim on the power lever, a left and right toggle. Manual trim. This is the 276 keyboard. Allows you to run your PFD and MFD within easy reach. Cow flaps for ground operations and climb. This is the environmental control panel. An air conditioning on-off panel is overhead. De-ice panel. Engine test panel, which is a dual channel FADEC running independently. Two alternators. Fuel transfer system, right wing to left wing. I think we'll do a, uh, an engine start just to show you how easy the Continental CD300 starts uh, with the new diesel technology from this uh, manufacturer. I'm going to turn on the master switch. The engine master will start a glow plug sequence. And we'll wait a few seconds for the dialog box to appear. Check that our power lever is all the way back to zero. And the start is the same, uh, Eric, whether the engine is cold or hot. It doesn't make any difference. Clear prop. It's just that simple. If our engine shut down, we just reverse that, we go to the engine master, and it stops. And again, this is a warm engine. We're on a ramp that's about 105 degrees right now. I'll do that again. Engine master on. Engine start.
Again, cold or hot, it doesn't make any difference. Over to the right side on the MFD, got a nice uh, icon of the aircraft. The DA-50RG is made in uh, Austria. A little picture of the engine page. Very clearly labeled and accessible circuit breakers on the 50RG. Overhead, some visors. And again, I think we mentioned that's the air conditioner start and control panel. Oxygen system is optional on the aircraft. There's outlets for five people. You can't see it right here, but there are USB ports left and right. And also for the rear passengers back here. It's configured with both standard and Limo adapt or plugs rather, jacks for the your, your headsets. And this is super simple fuel management. You normally leave it just in the normal position. Again, transferring from right to left as needed. Control stick with an optional removable right hand control stick on the DA62. Electric trim, of course, control wheel steering, autopilot, internet interrupt, and uh, push to talk. Typical configuration. That's the quick tour of the cabin. It's probably time to go back and get some air conditioning. <laughs> diamondaircraft.com or premieraircraftsales.com.